The mantra of light, Guangming Zhenyan Komyo Shingen, also called the mantra of the unfailing rope snare, is an important mantra of the Shingen and Kegon sects of Buddhism, but is not emphasized in other Vajrayana sects of Buddhism. It is taken from the Amoga Pasakalparaha Sutra, Chinese translation Taisho ed. No. 1092, or Sutra of the Mantra of the Unfailing Rope Snare of the Buddha Virakana's Great Baptism, and is chanted as follows: Sanskrit Manuscript, Om Amoga Virakana Mahamudra Manapama Javala Pravartaya Hum, Devanagari. Omamoga Virokana Mahamudra Mani Padma Javala Pravartaya Hum Siddham Sanskrit pronunciation Japanese, Anabokya Bayroshanu Makabadera Mani Handoma Jinbara Haribarataya Un An Abokya Bayroshano Makabadera Mani Handoma Jimbara Haribarataya Un Korean, Om Amoga Bailochana Mahamudula Mani Padeuma Jubala Pilabelutaya Hum Om Amoga Bairachana Mahamudora Mani Padeuma Shubara Pura Berutaya Hum Vietnamese, Ong Um A Ma Cat Po I Lo Gia I Na Ma Cap Mao Duck La Ma Ni Ba Duck Ma Cap Fap La Bat La Fap Ni Da Nha Hong Kanji and Chinese script, and Amoja Wei Lu Zuo Nong Mo He Muna Luo Mo Ni Bo Na Mo Ru Mo Luo Bo Luo Wa Duo Yi Hong Uchen. The translation of this mantra, according to Professor Mark Uno, is roughly Praise be to the flawless, all pervasive illumination of the Great Mudra or Seal of the Buddha. Turn over to me the jewel, lotus, and radiant light. Initially, the mantra received little mention in East Asian Buddhist texts, and although Kakai brought the sutra to Japan in the 9th century, there are no records that he ever utilized it in tantric practices. Records show gradually increasing use in the Heian period, until the 13th century when it was popularized in medieval Japanese Buddhism by Mayo, and later by Shingon monks Aizen and Ninsho in their ministries. Both the mantra and the Nembutsu were often incorporated by medieval Buddhists at one time or another, often in the same service. A common practice for the mantra of light was to sprinkle pure sand, blessed with this mantra, on the body of a deceased person or their tomb, based on teachings expounded in the sutra. The belief was that a person who had accumulated much bad karma, and possible rebirth in hell would be immediately freed and allowed a favorable rebirth into the pure land of Amitabha Buddha. This practice is known as dosha kaji, tusha jakai in Japanese. 